Hey guys, how's it going to testify here? Um, I'm back again. Here with a, uh, a little bit of a different video from what I've been putting out recently. But this is going to be a, a series. You're going to be seeing how people enjoy it, of course, and see how it goes. But this is going to be just showing in general how to make money from the auction house and just using the auction house and not anything outside of that. Um, there may be a little bit of farming done to make the money, but it's mainly just playing what you want through the auction house and making a profit from certain items that are coming off the auction house. Um, this episode is going to be going over the resources that you're going to be needing to be making sure that you're going to be making the smart decisions on what you buy and then when you're going to resell it and things of that sort. <clears throat> now you may notice on my auction house you have your normal three tabs here on the bottom browse bids and auctions and then here you have buy sell and more um, these tabs are there due to an add-on I have called auctionator um, for any type of auctions I highly recommend it um, because it is going to um, be a lot easier when you're you know certain searching certain prices and you know finding finding things out um, for what you can sell. So for an example, if I, you know, just wanted to sell five flask, uh, five spirit flask for whatever reason it may be, you just come up here, drop it in there, and it shows me that spirit flasks are on average going about 208, 210 in general on the server right now. Um, hmm. Of course, if you're not, if you don't have the item that you want to sell, uh, that you're selling, and you just don't know what it is that you want, you can always just type it in, search for it, give it a few seconds, and it'll pull it up. Currently, Golden Lotus has been dropping in price tremendously on my server, so yeah, um, unfortunately, so we'll have to uh, look at another farming spot later on. I might be releasing another video on that sometime soon, though. But as of now, this is just going to be making money through the auction house itself. Um, a few things you will need first. Um, you will need at least a little bit of money. Um, I have about 50k on me now, and that will that is enough to just start making a profit just from being on the auction house. And what you will also need is just some time and um, be the ability to check your market a lot. Um, now here I can just uh, see what prices I need to price I can price check whatever item I need to price it's always good to have a good market price of you know your high demand items um, finding out what items on this auction house on the auction house sell the best um, really really depends on just trial and error I've found I expected the um, 100 year soy sauce this to sell a lot more I expected it to sell a lot faster than it has been recently, and no, it has not. Uh, it hasn't at all. I haven't. I can't sell that stuff for anything, um, unfortunately. So I've given up my um, my attempts to sell it. It's a very slow selling process, I guess. If you were willing to, uh, you know, just make a slow process of money over a period of time, yeah, you can do it. But of course, I don't think we're wanting to go for that. We're wanting to make a good profit pretty quick. Now, um, like I said, this is going to be mainly going over your resources. First is, of course, using Auctionator. Um, of course, you can always, always use Buy to look up prices for what you're wanting to sell um, and finding the item that's going to be in demand. Um, another thing is just you can see what you're wanting. More is just basically active items you have in the auction house, what you priced on. That's the only thing I have at the moment. I haven't been doing any farming recently or anything of that sort. But what one thing that really needs to come into um, consideration is this full scan. What this does is just scans all the items on the action, auction house um, and gives and automatically updates uh, the data for all the prices. On, on the market. It means it's in your inventory, it'll tell you the price, you don't have to go through and browse every single thing and see as it scanned every single thing, it added a few items, updated a few, and it ignored a few. Of course the ones ignored are just items that normally won't sell, so on and so forth. But this is the first uh, thing I really recommend for anybody to have who's wanting to make money just from, from the auction house itself. There are more features that you can go into, um, but I really don't use them. 
I, it's just not something I mess with a lot, and I've never had a, I've never had a need for it. I just mainly just use this for pricing simple items. I always full scan the auction house at least twice a week. Um, it's probably recommended to maybe do it at least once a day sometimes, if you're really wanting to get in, get really serious with the running these prices on the auction house. But, but yeah, it, it, it can be a profitable thing just from doing this, but you do have to start out with some money. And if you don't start out with any money at first, it is going to make it a little bit of a, it's going to make it a little bit harder than this just because a lot of the things you'll be buying will be high priced and then you'll also be marking the price up from there. It's, it's basically controlling the economy in a certain form or fashion. Um, now this is one simple seed resource here and, but, and that helps out a lot but now you're probably asking you know how do I know what's gonna be in high demand? What do I, how do I know what's gonna be selling well and when to sell it? so on and so forth. Well, um, you can do trial and error by posting the items on the auction house, seeing how they sell. If it sells well, then you can go from there. Or you can do this, and this is what I highly recommend. This here is a very strong resource I recommend to anyone who is wanting to run the auction house uh, on their server. What this is, is an online application that you can access it with in your browser. You don't have to have any type of membership or anything of that sort. As you see, I'm not logged in or anything of that. I don't have a membership with this website. Um, but there are probably a few others out there. This is just one I managed to stumble upon and have been taking advantage of it um, recently. Now, as you see, wowauction.com and it has your US uh, Black Dragon Flight and I am Horde also. What you're wanting to see here, of course this is just last AH scan, popular map bargain for the for their server. But of course this is just a just a basic layout of what's going there and how the prices have been fluctuating. As you see volatile water has gone up 20% in price. Um, of course we're wanting to look into something that's a little bit more um, up to date for what we want to find out. It looks like actually Windwell Cloth has been going up, which is actually very valuable to know because Windwell Cloth is now sitting at 101 gold 13 instead of the uh, your 61 silver as it was before, which is very nice. Um, so you can break it down just by looking at some of the items there. Um, what I would always recommend, since you are having your professions, and you're wanting to, of course, make money from your professions, and your professions always can be a profitable thing. Um, such as me, I have an herbalism. I can look at what herb is going to be selling the best currently right now, and just see how many of them actually sold today. So today, 216 golden lotus is sold. That amount of tea leaves, that amount of fool's cap, so on and so forth, uh, whatever items. But we want to look at the more of the, uh, the Miss Pandaria items only, and that's how many on the AH, so on and so forth. Um, and there's the demand, meaning how much it posted and how much of them sold and so on and so forth. Um, now the advice quantity, uh, it's just kind of giving you a kind of a breakdown of what you could post on there and you know don't post more than this amount because it may not sell. That's kind of off I've seen in my, from what I've seen in the past, but normally what they do have is you know how many have been sold in a day. Um, how many of them are on the AH, so what's your competition you're looking like, and your demand is also a good thing to look at. This will also give you what the current price is going for on the item. Of course, we're looking for a very high demand items, and as we see right now, and that's not mop, that's not mop, that's not mop, but mop. So it looks like green tea leaf right now from that amount that we currently see right now is having the highest um, sell value for what we're looking for so that item is going to sell very well very quick um, for what we're looking at of course this can vary of course from server to server that's why it is um, server specific mine being black dragon flight horde um, and with golden lotus going down of course it's dropped in demand a little bit also um, so it does have a uh, a fluctuating market that you do need to take advantage of and you know know what the prices are when they are coming up um, some of the other resources that you can look at is just some of the top list of what's been selling well um, this shows what's been dropping in price and there's this is here 
dropping in price. That's how the amount, the percentage of the price that dropped over the few days. And then there's what's been raising in price over the few days. Of course, you know, we kind of want to focus out on some of the other things, such as the volatile water, the hard, hard and elementium, so on and so forth. If you want, you want to focus on the things. Obsidian ore has been raising in price, so you can make a quick profit off of that if you happen to have some, so on and so forth. Now, of course, this can break down even even more, showing you even what top what professions are being the top selling professions at the moment right now, and making the most amount of money. Unfortunately, I'm not an inscriptionist because I would love to make that amount of profit that is coming from those trinkets and things of that sort at the moment, but I'm not able to. Um, and it will even break it down for the amounts the amounts that are on the auction house right now, and you know what you can make possibly make from the uh, profit of those. Um, at the moment and you know how how much they're actually overpriced See, that's overpriced at that price you know it's just not something that you would really consider at the moment so on so forth and you can even see over to a new page but this is just another resource I use uh, to get a close look at the uh, market and how it's been going this is also on a global scale over here if you would like to look at a more of a global scale of the market and how it changes accordingly and then of course your realm market value um, as you see here, it really depends over a period of time of what it has, but we are seeing a, uh, a change. Things are going to start getting cheaper, and it's going to be harder for some people to make money um, in large quantities in a very fast speed. But we can work some of that out and maybe still keep that going as long as we play our market right and we keep things going. The next episode, we will go into more of you know how to do this and what you should be doing on what items and things like that but this episode is mainly just showing some of your resources that you have available and how you should be using those resources um, to find out what's going to be selling well on the auction house hopefully you everybody will start using these resources to take advantage of these um, items that we have here and you know maybe spend a little bit of time farming these items and such Ooh, golden carp see fishing fishing through golden carp that will get you a nice profit very quick and if that's going up in price that will make you some money but back on topic very easily you can farm a few things you can make a little bit of money um, money is basically time time is money money is time and if you spend the time to make the money you will of course it'll, it'll work out in the long run as we see here and we can take advantage of it any form or fashion but that's all i have for today expect in the next episode we'll go into a little bit more detail on what to do um when you know you're just wanting to make certain money and then uh the episode after that i have plans to you know show you how to make a little bit of um make some bargains off the auction house get that price lower than what it already is we'll get into that later on it's very uh it's very interesting if you're um willing to go out there and you know search for that price but that's all I have for today. I hope this helps some of y'all out. Thank you, and you do enjoy your day.